Hello my friends, here we are on uh, Luminar Neo again and a few of you guys are having trouble with adding layers so that's what we're gonna do in this video. I will start with this image and I would like to add a texture to it so I'll go to edit and your layers are over here on the left top corner. You have this plus button, I will click it and then you have load image. I will load my texture. And for this image, let's say I want this texture that I have into my downloads. And click open. Once you click open, it should show up into your my images over here. So I will double click it and it opens into my image. Now I can increase the opacity to 100. And this is my texture. And I will change the blend mode to soft light. Uh, no, I don't like soft light. Let's try multiply. Not so much. Overlay. Better. Maybe I don't like this texture. I'm gonna, so far I cannot figure out how to delete the texture. So I'll just reduce the opacity to 0% and I'll go for a different texture. I'll load a different image for texture and I will choose this one and open it. Now that I have it here, I'll double click it. And there is my texture. I can increase the opacity to 100% and change the blend mode to overlay. No. Multiply. There you go. That is better. Now I would like to remove some from the flower. So I will use my eraser tool. And maybe a strength of, I don't know, 37%. I will just erase some from the flower. You want to leave some, you don't want to erase it all because then it will just look weird. You want to have some still in there. So there you go. Now my texture had some color into it. If I wanted to remove the color from my texture with the texture selected, I can go into the develop and I will go into the saturation and remove all saturation. So now I just have the texture, no color to it. Let's do a different example. This time I will choose this picture over here. And this one is very low contrast and I wanted to add more contrast. So for this image, I will go to edit. I will go to the plus sign and to the layers and load image. I'm gonna load the same exact image as a layer. Click open. Now that I have it over here in my images, I'll double click it and I have it as an up, another layer. With the second layer selected, I will just go and choose multiply and that will give me a darker image and let's see this is my before and after let's say i want more contrast now i'll add it and now i already have it into my images so i'll double click it this is my third layer and this time i will choose overlay and that gives me more contrast i can increase it to 100 percent that's too much soft light that is better so now this is my image before and after. Let's see my second layer that had the multiply. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100%. And this is our image now, before and after. Let's do one last image. I'll go back to my catalog. And this time I want to do, let's see, I had a coffee shot that I took. Well, I have to import it. I don't have it here. So here is a coffee shot I took a few weeks ago. I will add it to my catalog. And now I'll go to edit layers plus and I will load an image of these coffee beans. And I think I gave this example in a different uh, tutorial. Now I'll double click my coffee beans. I can rotate it. I can scale it. Let's just rotate it for this image. Let's say I'll rotate it maybe like this. Maybe I want to make it smaller and I'll put it over my coffee cup and then I will choose a soft light for the blend mode. No. Overlay. No. Multiply. No. Oh, I know it's screen. There you go. And now with a brush tool, we want to just paint this effect just on the coffee mug. So I'll do a very sloppy job. I'll get my eraser tool and you just want to do it on your coffee mug to add some coffee beans because it's coffee and there you go and this is how you work with layers and how you import 
um, layers and adjust them and you work with blending modes and I hope this was helpful and uh, I have a better layer tutorial coming uh, next weekend so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one this was just a quick tutorial one of my subscribers was having problems with this and they asked for me to do this so here it is thank you so much for watching my name is Kyler Ewing I will see you in my next video